everyone. It is William Colling from Ruby Blogs, and we need to give you an Albania update all about Queen Angela Perry Sterry. And here to do that is her manager, her Eurovision project manager as well. It is Ardit Chuni. Hello. Hello, Ruby Blogs. Hello, William. Long time not seeing you, and I'm so happy to be here today. Um, so we can talk more about our Eurovision journey, and I'm calling from Stockholm, Sweden. It is very exciting. Let me just hype you quickly. You, of course, are a known singer in Albania, just so people know. I'm sure they do. We're talking Kunga Magik, Festival Kungis. You know, you're a performer, um, but you're also a friend to other stars like Angela, and now you're helping manage her Eurovision journey. You're in Sweden, but before we talk about that, you yourself have worked with some Swedish legends like Peter Bostrom. Yeah. <laughs> Should I say something about that? Or? Yeah. So, you know, he, of course, he's done lots of great stuff. He worked on Euphoria. Um, um, actually, for me to be, uh, I mean, to have worked with, with Peter Bostrom, it has been a dream come true because uh, since we all know, 2012, Peter Bostrom reached his highest uh let's say peaking song which was euphoria they won the whole eurovision and as we know loreen euphoria that has been one of the most voted songs since forever and that is my forever favorite song so it, it was a dream come true when i worked with them in 2015 i had pre-productions with peter bostrom and one of them reached top 20 on swedish itunes and i was so so happy that time i also went on, on swedish radios and also reached top 100 on Scandinavian charts. So it was a pretty it was a pretty good thing. And as for the part for Angela, of course, she's one of my best friends. We also have been working and collaborating for years because in Albania, I run a video production company. And so I've been producing her latest videos for the last two years. So um, I know her better than everybody else in the, let's say, the production team and also the delegation part. And that's when I decided to jump in the project and help her out, since I also have been following Eurovision since 2004, and I know basically every detail of it. So it was the right time and it was the right person, I think. And thanks to her, who believed in me as well, I'm now uh, also managing and running this project. Fantastic. So please tell us, why did you decide to work with Sasha Jean-Baptiste? Because I think this is new for Albania. Usually Albania does it on its own. Yeah, we usually don't have creative directors. This is the first ever time that we are collaborating with such a major creative director as uh, Sasha Jean-Baptiste and Jean-Baptiste Group. As you all know, Jean-Baptiste Group is actually a favorite when it comes to designing performances and the concept of the Eurovision. So uh, actually I was thinking about it since Angela started competing in Festival de Congress, but we never knew what was gonna happen with the results. So when it happened and Angela won the second day, I called in for this collaboration. And of course, Sasha was really, really, really happy to jump and be on board with us. So uh, why the reason why I did that is because I love Sasha and I love their work as, as a group. And this year we also had Kisha on board, Kisha Malik, which is also part of Jean-Baptiste as a um, co-creative director. So uh, one of the reasons was because we needed something else from the other entries, Albanian entries. We have always had good singers, amazing voices, but we've, we have always unfortunately had a, a lack of creativity when it comes to performances and, uh, and light designs and stuff. So this, um, I'm so happy to be part of this first ever experience from the Albanian team. And we're also working in a different way this year. We're working with a production team and also the delegation part, which means the artist gets to run its own artistic, uh, let's say, business uh, on the Eurovision journey. So it's fun. It's so fun. It's so fun to be coming to Sweden. This is our second time, actually. And today we also met uh, the other delegations as well, because they are also, Sasha is also handling Malta and uh, Switzerland. We got to meet uh, with Destiny and their team. It was a really, really, really fun time. 
but it feels good it feels good i don't know what i might say because i don't want to say too much and reveal too much but i have a secret for you angela's dress is here in my room right now <gasps> oh my goodness what can you tell us about the dress <laughs> <laughs> um it's gonna be amazing amazing i mean you will see yourself when that happens, but I promise everybody just go and bet on Angela because you will see something fascinating when it comes to the first rehearsal. But it, oh God, I can't wait to reveal it. Um, I will say that um, we have used Albanian designers and they are basically trending for the moment they've been wearing a lot of famous uh, artists like beyonce and other other artists as well so when it comes to designing the performance the the performance outfit it's fabulous it's fabulous you will see her full of force full of power i i, I don't want to reveal too much but it's so exciting it's so exciting i'm sure the fans will love it it's unexpected Let's say, because I also heard your um, Wee Wee Jury comments and I heard a lot of things like they didn't like Angela, also the band didn't like Angela being like in a fairy tale or with that heavy look and stuff since the music video came out. So I promise to the band and all the others that that's gonna change. You're gonna see a pure beauty and you're going to see so much femininity in Angela this time. It's going to be simple. It's going to be simple, but at the same time, it's going to be powerful. It's going to be her running the stage. It's going to be her uh, creating her own game, which you've never seen before. So this is a different Angela. This is a new refreshed Angela. Oh, my goodness. Is the dress technological? Is it, is, is it electronic in some ways or like innovation? Um, I can't say uh, too much about the idea. I can just say that it's something which it's also related to... Oh, no, I'm not sure if I can say that either. <laughs> like a jellyfish? But no, it's not going to be technological. It's going to be something that it looks fabulous for the eyes. And it's also related to Albania. <gasps> She's going to be an eagle. Oh, I, my goodness. I don't know, William. I don't know. Maybe uh, she's going to be Jonita Malici. She's going to what? Be like Jonita Malici. No, 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 no. It's something that you've never seen before. Okay, well, I'm excited. Moving it was, away, oh. it was it was so exciting to design the to design the dress and use that thing because we actually were having a lot of ideas because we were also discussing it with Sasha when we last were in Sweden and we were thinking what we what it would work for the for the performance because when we go to the performance mm. we have a lot of stuff there too but then we found this and it was perfectly fit for Angela. So, but you're gonna, you're gonna see her, you're gonna see her run that runway. Ah, okay. I'm hoping for a wind machine. I really hope for a wind machine and hair extensions. <laughs> are, you, are you trying to read my mind? <laughs> I just, I feel the force of nature well, is what I feel. Get, we, we get each other. <laughs> we are it. Ardit yeah. Chuni, what else can you tell us about rehearsals in Sweden? Can you tease the concept? Um, I can tease a little bit. Uh, it's the thing is, it has, it has, as I said, it has been really funny uh, and also interesting to come for the first time and rehearse somewhere else. I don't think Albanian singers has done that have done that before. So uh, this has never happened. It was a new experience for also for the delegation, a new experience for the national TV, and also for us as a production team. But it has been fun to work with the girls and come here and rehearse. We've been rehearsing really hard. Like every, basically we've been here for eight days in total and all the days we've been rehearsing for like four to five hours per day, which has been intense, really intense. 
but I can say about the concept, there will be uh, no fairy tale, no fairy tale this time. We will see, as I said, the powerful Angela as a strong, as a strong woman trying uh, to make the stage rock on her own. So this time we have removed the backup dancers. It was a decision made also because I usually read all the fans' comments and uh, of we learn out of them. And since the performance in uh, Festival Congas, a lot of them requested for the dancers not to be part of it. We also thought about that. We might have included some, but then we decided not to. And at the end, we have a single Angela solo on stage. Uh, let's say she's gonna control her own performance. That's all I can tease. Mm. She's gonna have a selfie stick. Hey! <laughs> No, uh, you, you'll see, you'll see. I mean, the first rehearsal of Albania is going to be on the 11th of May. Uh, so I'm so happy to see that as well, because you never know what happens on stage. But what's a good thing is that the fans will be also surprised by the vocal abilities of Angela. She is one of the biggest vocalists that we have in Albania. And her way of performing with such passion is what's going to surprise everybody it's going to be it's going to be amazing I'm, I'm i assure you all you'll see you'll see but it's going to be good from the red and black clothing on you i know you are team albania team angela spreading those <laughs> wings <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah eagles are flying <laughs> We are ready to watch you take flight. Ardit Chuni, managing Angela, brilliant singer on your own. Thank you so much oh, for this tease. For a lot. Yeah. It's always a pleasure to be around you guys. And I missed you all since uh, 2019 when we last met. So I can't wait to meet you so, 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 so soon. And that won't be our still our last time to meet together because you'll see me around this year. <laughs> Absolutely. This is so exciting. From Kunga Magic to Eurovision 2021. <laughs> yeah. 2022 is coming as well. Oh, maybe we'll be in Tirana. Ardit Chuni, Philemon Derrick. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. And uh, I thank a lot all the fans who have been supporting the Albanian team. Keep supporting Angela. Keep supporting Karma. Because otherwise, Karma will come back to you. <laughs> 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 That's a <Okay>. threat. <laughs> I love that. Uh, well, thank you, everybody. Actually, thanks a lot. The support has been incredible. Um, I can't wait to see everybody there and see what was what will happen uh, for the near future. So love you all and thanks, thanks, thanks. <laughs> <laughs>